Hi guys, I will show you how you can do ground check in Unity with visual scripting in Bolt. So you would probably use this if you have a player that can jump and you don't want the player to be jumping in the air like this. So we are going to start. It is going to be pretty easy. First we need to add empty game object under our player. This is going to be the collider that is going to be detecting if the player is standing on the ground or not. So we just add box collide 2D. We edit it a little bit so it is under the player, like you can see here. We also need to add rigid body 2D so the collisions get detected. We probably want to set the gravity scale to zero so the collider just doesn't fall down. And that's all for the scene setup. Now we are going to jump into the script which I have already created for the movement of the player, it is just adding force to rigid body that I have on the player, nothing too complicated. Now first thing we are going to add some variables, first variable is going to be bool if our character is grounded. So bool, then we need another variable for our collider, so is grounded collider. We just set the type to game object and drag the collider here. Now, one tricky thing you might run into is that uh, when you have your player moving with rigid body, the collider might not move with the player. So you just want to set the local position of the collider to 0, 0, 0. Next, we are going to need block on trigger. Enter 2D, make sure you have 2D here otherwise it won't work, which is going to just run when our collider is hitting the ground. So we just take the is ground collider, we just put it here. Then we need to take the game object from the collider to the, so we can say uh, collider to the game object get, so we can compare the tag of the game object if the game object that we are currently standing on is actually the ground and not for example enemy or some uh, other thing. So we just say uh, game object tag get. We just ask if it is equal to our tag for example tag ground. Uh, then we just put here if and if this is true then we just set is grounded to true. We are going to do the same thing for the on trigger exit so we can just copy this here um, and instead of on trigger enter we are going to need on trigger exit 2D like this connect it all together and we set is grounded to false. Now we obviously need to set the tag of our ground, which I have here as you can see. We just add another tag that is going to be our ground tag. We just add it here. Now we can try this if it works. And we can look into the variable. And there I can see that I made a small mistake that I uh, didn't set the collider to its trigger, so we are going to do that. And now it should all work. We look into the scene variables, and as you can see, now it says is grounded true, is grounded false. Yeah, here you can see that it changes. Now we can easily put it into our script, for example, for the jumping. I have jumping here, so I just add branch if I'm going to get is grounded. And if it's grounded to true, I want to fall uh, to jump. Now we can try it and I can jump, but when I'm pressing the space as I'm in the air, I can't jump as you can see, as you can see. So yeah, this is pretty simple and useful. I hope I helped you with this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.